Once upon a time, we believed we could do anything with our lives. We could be anyone, achieve anything, go anywhere. Even the sky was too small of a limit. I think of the four-year-old who's going to be an astronaut, or that seven-year-old swimmer who's going to the Olympics, or that 10-year-old whose dream is to see the world. Or the 13-year-old who dreamed of making movies. You see, I'll never forget my first time on Hollywood Boulevard. I ended up stumbling upon a film set where we stayed for hours on end. And by some miracle, they asked me to be an extra in the TV show. So how could I say no? I even got to talk to the director who shared with me this crazy, inspiring story of how he went from coffee boy to one day revered filmmaker. And in that moment, I lost myself. Time slipped by. So naturally, I stayed until midnight. You see, this was my dream. My dream was different. Picture a 10-year-old boy going on business trips with his dad. That was me, packing up suitcases, climbing on airplanes, watching out the airplane window as the world passed us by, discovering new places like the RCA Dome or the Georgia Dome and many others. It sparked a flame in me, this thought that maybe one day I could own my own business that could show me the world. This was my dream. But shortly after, something happened. And just like all dreams do, they end up bumping into limits. Limits that threaten to make our dreams die. You see, for me, it was rejection. You know how high school is, right? I was never athletic enough for varsity, nor was I smart enough for honor rolls. I was the last one picked and the last one seen. So I slowly started to forget about that 13-year-old in Hollywood who was going to make movies one day. For me, it was expectations. See, the older I got, the more pressure I felt from this prescribed narrative. I felt it everywhere. It was the same question asked at every high school graduation party I'd go to. What degree would I choose? What prestigious university was I going to give the next four years of my life to? Somewhere along the way, I started to forget about that 10-year-old boy looking out the window of that airplane. But you already know that. You already know what it's like to have these rejections and expectations thrown at you every day. We all have these limits, a part of our story. Maybe it was that coach that said you'd never measure up to anything great, or that car accident that left you paralyzed. Maybe it was that long string of failures that made all your hopes dry up. But what if? What if we've given our limits too much power? What if we've allowed our limits to dictate our life narrative? What if instead we chose to leverage them? Because after all, why should our critics define our life path? You see, we didn't want to live in fear always feeling stuck and overwhelmed. We didn't want our stories to be defined by our rejections and external expectations, but we certainly didn't want the dreams of our 10 and 13 year old selves to die simply because we grew up. Cody and I decided to unsubscribe from society's narrative to write our own story. So halfway through high school, I made a choice that would change the course of my life forever. I decided to homeschool. You see, for as long as I can remember, all I've wanted to do was tell stories, but between academia and sports, there just wasn't any time left over to pursue my passion. But by taking online courses, I could control my own schedule. So I had the time to get on, you know, hustling my way on film sets in my hometown of Chicago, or even meet up with directors and entrepreneurs over coffee. Well, that became my film school. Now, at a similar time, I was having trouble deciding what college to attend. But Going into this process, I made a few guidelines for myself. First, I want to graduate debt-free. Second, I want to start a business while I was at school. And third, I want to have a flexible schedule, one that will allow travel and adventure. So I ended up taking online courses through Liberty University, the world's largest private university. And much of our time was spent cramming for tests before flights. We definitely did that a lot. But living an exhilarating life, it doesn't just happen because these rejections and expectations will always try and limit. The only way to live the life you once dreamed possible, a life without limits, is to live the outbound life. The kind that doesn't see what is, but sees what might be. And if you really want to live the outbound life, well then this journey begins with first wholeheartedly believing that your story matters. Now, it doesn't matter who you are. You see, your story is your competitive advantage. And the things that you think are your limits, well, they actually had color and texture and nuance. Cody and I realized that we were onto something. Between my passion for storytelling and his passion for business and adventure, well, the outbound life was born. This is a mindset and a movement. It's a mindset that sees beyond our limits. 
but it's a movement that pushes into the impossible. Fresh out of college courses, I want to get better connected with the business community. So I decided to attend a three-day business seminar. At the age of 20, while my friends were hanging out on the weekends and relaxing, I drove to the city to attend the seminar. The room where I showed up was filled with those the ages of my parents and my grandparents. So you can imagine the look on most people's faces when this kid rolls up trying to network with the C-level executives. I mean, probably helped that my mom dressed me for that day. But starting out, Kyler and I, we didn't have much. We sure didn't have a name for ourselves. What we did have, though, was passion. At this seminar, I had the opportunity to share my passion as an up-and-coming adventure filmmaker, and a startup saw my fire. Before we knew it, they brought us out to Florida to produce a video for them. And to our surprise, it went viral. It was spread all over the internet. It was featured on news channels throughout the United States. This company, in turn, raised a pre-release waiting list of $2.5 million. It started with belief. See, passion and belief they often speak louder than the things that you don't have. They didn't see a 20-year-old, they saw someone on fire, someone excited about what he was doing. Belief can open doors that might have been closed once before. Now, in order to do this, you have to live beyond your limits, developing eyes to see what's possible. You've got to learn to see life like a filmmaker would, using the right lens to appreciate your environment. Take a look at this image behind me. What do you see? It's dark, right? What if I were to tell you that in front of my lens was one of the most beautiful scenes my eye had ever seen? Watch what happens when I simply change the lens. Now that first shot was taken on a zoom lens, one that crops in and lets in little light. The second was taken on a wide angle lens, one that soaks in the light. Often, people don't know what's possible because they're not looking at the world with the right lens. If I'd never switched that lens, I would have never been able to capture that landscape with all its beauty and grandeur. And following this mindset, we booked a flight to the largest filmmaking convention in the world. While over 100,000 gathered to see the countless new products that would be unveiled, instead, we came up with a little mission. Well, big, at least for us. We decided to try to connect with some of the most influential people there. Now, at the time, being a 17 and 20 year old, we didn't exactly fit the part, like, at all. In fact, it was quite exactly the opposite. We certainly didn't have the most credibility, connections, or the most impressive portfolio, but we had one success story. So what do we do? We leveraged beyond our limits. And this led to our first sponsorship, which totally reaffirmed that, hey, our story really did matter. See, the things that are letting you limit you, what would happen if you leveraged them instead? So I want to ask you, what are you letting limit you? What's holding you back right now? Could it be your age or your level of experience? Maybe it's the contacts you have or your finances. Well, starting out, we didn't have the contacts, so we made them. We didn't have finances, so we found sponsors, and we didn't have direction, so we found mentors. Why not learn from the best teachers on earth? See, just a few of ours include Devin Supertramp and Chris Burkhardt. These are two of the most followed creatives on YouTube and Instagram, who I could call right now if I had a question. Who says hanging out with friends has to always be Netflix and chill? Well, why not grow alongside each other instead? What a crazy idea, huh? So that's why we decided to start a weekly think tank with our peers. And we call this outbound thinking. Here we gather to pursue entrepreneurship, setting goals, and making our dreams a reality. Who says a 20-year-old can't go to a business seminar? And heck, why can't a 13-year-old get on a Hollywood film set? Believe me, you are never too young, too inexperienced, or too unqualified to make a big difference in this world. You see, the outbound life all starts with believing that your story matters, but it goes nowhere unless you live beyond your limits. Now, it's been three years since we started the outbound life. Three years of pushing against these rejections, external expectations, and potential limits. Trust me, it's not exactly easy being a 20-year-old hopping up on the TEDx stage. I mean, a few years ago, well, five to be exact, I didn't know how to drive. <laughs> oh, we're definitely still working on that. FYI, don't park behind our driveway. <laughs> okay, first off, I think we promised that we wouldn't tell that. Mom said that. Uh, second off, who's the one with all the speeding tickets? Because it's not me. All right, kid, just tell them the rest. <laughs> Through this whole experience, we've learned that intentional living really adds up. 
Just this past year, I graduated from Liberty University with honors, and I did it while being debt-free. Liberty was so inspired by our story, they ended up producing a nationally aired commercial around us. Take a look at the dream that we're living. You see, without this mindset, we're just another 20 and 23-year-old trying to chase our dreams. But living the alpha life, we're adventure filmmakers, empowered by billion dollar companies, world thought leaders, and like-minded world changers who are making a difference. This is our dream. This is the Outbound Life. Thank you. Thank you.